fine. You can have a nickel out of my ass. Are you filming right now? Yeah. What's up, guys? Tanner Smith with Trouts. We're back for five flies to get you through the month of June. We're looking at another month of, you know, those mixed flows. May, we kind of saw a bump start, and then we got a ton of snow that late May. June, we're going to see a, those flows finally start to climb, and runoff's really going to kick in. So we got a, a good selection that's going to kind of have you well-rounded for everything that uh, June can throw at you. All right, guys, my first supply that's going to get me through the month of June is going to be Berry's Carp Bitter. With runoff start, we're going to do a lot of warm water fishing around town. Um, specifically around here, we target a lot of carp. That pattern has worked with me. I'm not the world's greatest carp fisherman by any means. So, you know, I tend to stick with ones that I've caught a few on. And that one's had, had a little success for me. We're also going to be fishing a lot of, you know, bass, bluegill, all that type of stuff. So think warm water bugs, not just this certain fly. Um, have those in mind when you come by. We'll definitely help you out and get your point in the right direction if you want to expand some new, some new waters along the front range. That was good. Yep. All right, guys. Uh, my second uh, set of flies is going to get me through the month of June. It's going to be coronamids. I'm talking black, red, silver, flashy, really anything that you want. Um, we're going to be doing a ton of still water fishing on places like Spinney, 11 Mile, with Antero opening back up, especially. Um, even up north of some of those lakes, and then even into Wyoming, some of their high prairie lakes offer great options through runoff and give you an opportunity to some really big fish. Um, and we're going to be focusing mainly this month on those coronamids before those dams and everything really, really start taking off. Oh, oh, oh! Hot fire! Bingo! In the five, three greatest rappers of life, Dylan, Dylan, and Dylan. All right, guys, number three for, for June is going to be leeches. As those flows start, start climbing, which they're definitely going to this, this month with all the snow that we have, it's going to give you a great opportunity to get away with throwing bigger bugs, things along those lines that some of our, our generally more tough fisheries, like deckers, dream streams, stuff like that. Absolutely don't be scared to fish those higher flows. Um, take advantage of being able to throw those leeches that are getting busted loose. Um, you'll find a lot of those bigger fish have been pushed out to the side and you can find them in, in kind of the slack water where they're really eager to move to those big bugs. Leeches are, are some of my favorites in that situation. Another way you can fish leeches through June is going to be in the still waters. One of my favorite favorite bugs to hang um, beneath any, any type of indicator when I'm still water fishing is going to be mayor's mini leech. The thing is going to flat out catch fish for you. So I recommend having a mixer of leeches to get you through the month of June. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right guys, number four for me is gonna be Sex Dungeon, one of my all time favorite streamers, especially through the month of June in the high water. I love the color yellow. I don't know what it is about yellow and that kind of dirty stained water, but brown trout really tend to react well to it um, and chase those things and line them up pretty good. So have a bunch of streamers in your fly box for me, I'm going to be fishing a ton of yellow this month. Yellow Sex Dungeon is the one I recommend that you have. All right, guys. My fifth and final bug that's going to get me through the month of, of June is going to be salmon flies. Um, we've already kind of seen the hatch come and go along to Colorado, but we still have a ton of places where those things are going to show back up. We're talking places like the Gunnison, you know, the Rio, things along those lines. Go take advantage of it. Um, fish will still eat them in, in the high water. Um, it's a great fly to hold up like eight pats or legs beneath it. So fish a big salmon fly and have have a patch over lake dropping below it and even in, in the muddy water you're definitely going to catch fish and it could be one of the, the funnest hatches to fish through the year. You got these big bugs flying at you landing all over you so if you haven't ever done it before I recommend doing it and if you have well then you already know so we'll see you out there. All right guys that sums up five flies that'll get you through the month of June. As we previously stated runoff is definitely coming. Don't let that keep you off the water. We still got plenty of options, whether it's warm water along the front range, some still waters, our, our tail waters, and even some of those dirtier free zones. Stay fishing, it's one of the easiest opportunities to catch some of the biggest fish of the, of the year. As usual, you know where to find us. We'll be at troutsplashing.com, swing by the shop, or even give us a call if you ever need anything. That's all we got. See you later. <laughs>